Hi, uh, Kevin Sorbo. Um, I first off want to say that while not a fan of Hercules or Xena, uh, I've never been interested in the Greek myths. Um, I have been a fan of your faith-based work, especially uh, What If, about a greedy jerk named Ben Walker who gets hit in the head in corks and wakes up as a pastor in a small town with the family that he could have had. And the sermon about how God wants you to be rich, how God wants you to have things, shows the hollowness of some religion. Um, I used to be an agnostic. I, I used to believe that Christianity was an evil, not a good, and it was that kind of thinking that made me that way. And we are in a war for hearts and minds, in a war for men's souls, and our task is to spread the gospel. And I'm asking you, and I'm making this video asking you, in your position as a movie star and a TV star, to do so. The problem is, right now, you're doing more harm than good. Now, I understand. I am not a flaming liberal. I did not trust Hillary Clinton. I did not vote for Hillary Clinton. I voted for John Kasich for the primaries. And I think we would be in a much better place if John Kasich won the primary and beat Clinton handily in November. The problem is Trump represents everything that Jesus stood against. While Jesus told us that greed was bad and that man cannot serve two masters, Trump is serving two masters, and all of his policies will help those who are wealthy while hurting those who are poor. And atheists are smart and cunning. They, they know this discrepancy, and they will show it, and they will exploit it to further the narrative that Christianity is a hollow, faithless religion that has nothing to do with their so-called Christ. I know that Jesus Christ is my Savior. I know that he died for my sins, but I also know that he's my rabbi, he's my teacher. But the thing is, if he's not your rabbi, if he's not your teacher, if you just claim that he's your Savior while you don't follow him, you don't love him. I mean, Jesus himself said in John 14, 23, 25, those who love me follow my teachings, those who don't love me do not. And that's what I'm asking you to. You made a movie, God's Dead. God's not dead. Well, God's not dead, but with the hypocrisy that is going on with the American Christi Christianity that's more nationalism than Christ-based, he might as well be because we are not doing anything good for God's kingdom. So that's why I'm asking you, Kevin Sorbo. Speak up in your voice against what Trump represents. And do so with scripture. Quote scripture. Use the Bible. I mean, again, 2 Timothy 3. You must understand this, that in the last days distressing times will come, but people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, arrogant, abusive disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, inhuman, implacable, slanderers, profitless, brutes, haters of good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, holding to the outward form of godliness but denying its power have nothing to do with them. That is Trump. He has lied, stupid, provable lies about his electoral vote count. His immigrant policy is breaking up families. There is no mercy, there is no justice, but the thing is, if you, Kevin Sorbo, if you would go online, and if you would say, I can no longer in good conscience support our president, pray for him, yes, but speak out against his policies, just like you would speak out against Hillary Clinton and her pro-abortion policies. The thing is, this will help fight secularism. This will spur the gospel because people will see the light of Christ. But the thing is, people will hate you. A lot of people will call you a sellout, call you names. But remember, remember what Jesus said in Luke 6. 
Blessed are those who hate you because of my name and persecute you, for that is how they treated the prophets. And that's what I'm asking you to gird up your loins, Kevin Sorbo. Be a hero. You wore a loincloth as Hercules. Now, you are not a demigod. There is no Zeus. But there is Yahweh. There is Jesus. Be a hero, Kevin Sorbo. Fight for Jesus. Show the world his light. Fight against bribery. Fight against greed. Fight for mercy. Fight for justice. Fight for the oppressed. Be a prophetic voice. Because right now, I cannot watch What If anymore because of your politics and because of your support of Trump. I mean, I know who Jesus is. I want others to know who Jesus is and to accept him and to allow the Holy Spirit to transform them. But right now, you are not helping. You are hurting. Please, join the bandwagon. Fight for Christ, not for Trump. God bless.